This video is about what I do when I have to poop. It's a great topic for a video, isn't it? But let's face it, everybody poops. And so I figured getting some honest information out there would be helpful. I have a few other videos on backpacking bidets and people had some further questions about them. And so this video is gonna kind of answer some of the questions that people had. The video is gonna have three parts. The first part is on my transition to using a backpacking bidet. The second part is on how to use a bidet. So unlike the other videos, I'll go into a little bit more detail on it. And the third part is what are the different type of backpacking bidets that are out there. Now for years, what I would do if I had to poop in the woods is I would pull over and I would uh, scrape away some dirt, poop there, leave my toilet paper there, throw some leaves over the top and walk away. It was more of a covered up and not really a bury it in a hole sort of poop. So a couple of years ago, I made a huge change. I bumped into a video from someone, uh, Andrew something. I'll go back and I'll try to leave a link to it in the description below. And he talked about how he used a backpacking bidet. So I looked one up and I thought to myself, hey, for $7, I'll give it a shot. Worst case scenario is that it at least makes for kind of a funny video for the channel. Now, let's be honest. If you had told me 10 years ago that I would be using a bidet while backpacking, I'd say that there was about as much chance of that happening as me going vegan. But I decided to give it a shot anyway. So ordered one up from online because believe it or not, there's not a lot of local backpacking bidet suppliers where I live. And I took it out on my first trip on the Appalachian Trail, just like a two nights, three days sort of trip. I still brought toilet paper on the trip though. I wasn't convinced that I was gonna able to go through and use a bidet. So with my bidet and toilet paper packed, I set off on the trip. And the first night, nothing happened. Second day, nothing happened. I guess, I don't know, must have been a little nervous. And then finally when I was leaving, I only had like a couple more miles to go back to the car. The urge to poop finally hit me. I was coming down the side of this mountain. Now, I get it. I live in Connecticut. Mountains were in Connecticut are probably big hills to somebody else. But it was really steep, and there wasn't a perfect pull-off point. So I kind of waddled down the, uh, the trail. Hold on, I'm about to cross this little river here. So I kind of clambered down the side of the mountain, found a spot, and did my business. It was kind of this beautiful moment. I kid you not, I'm on the side of this mountain. The sun is rising. It was gorgeous out. And there I am pooping and attempting to use a bidet for the first time. So I take out the bidet, I use it, pack up my stuff and start walking away. And that is when I felt it. That feeling of cleanliness and exhilaration that you just don't get from toilet paper. And from that moment on, I was a convert. I was a backpacker. I was a bidet using backpacker. I've brought the bidet on every backpacking trip since then for the last couple of years and when I go hiking and it's just been phenomenal. Uh, that feeling of clean, you just don't get with regular toilet paper. It has also come in really handy for when we've had extended power outages at home. Now I have a really big backyard. It's not like during the power outages I was going in my front yard. All right, maybe just once in the front yard, but it was late at night, it was cold, it was snowing. You would have done the same thing. All right, now let's talk about how to use one. Uh, I'm gonna show you my technique. There's a lot of different, different techniques out there. And actually after um, deciding to film a video on how to use a bidet, I stumbled upon another video on YouTube. Uh, his name is Jason and he runs a channel called The Best Backpacker. And he shows how he uses a bidet. Yeah, 
he shows how to use how he uses a bidet using a slightly different technique. I will leave the link to his channel down below in the description so you can check out how he wipes. Because let's face it, that's what's coming next. How do I wipe my butt with a bidet? Seriously, I'm 50 years old doing a video on wiping my butt for YouTube. I've never asked for anything from viewers of this channel, but just for that one thing, if you've made it this far, would you hit the like button maybe? I don't know. Just hit the like button. Hit a button. Now I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the video I said I was gonna show you different bidets at the end. Let's just do that right now before I hook mine up. So I hike with the obligatory smart water bottle and there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, a lot of people will just unscrew the cap and they'll just pour the water out. That uses a lot more water than the other ways. Another way to do it is to have one of the caps that kind of squirt like those sport water bottle tops and that's going to use less water and allow you to focus your stream a little bit more. You can also drill holes into your bottle cap. This was my first bidet right here. It's a little bit of uh, probe-like and uh, it worries me. I'm not sure why, but it does. It, it works excellent. Uh, it's a no-name brand that I found on Amazon and it was like $7 or something like that. And if I can give you a sense of the squirt. <laughs> the next one in my newest bidet that, to add to my collection, this is called a uh, Kulo Clean and I'll put a link to it in the description uh, right to the website. This was a Kickstarter project that came out I think maybe last year or so. I don't know if you can get a sense if that's going to focus or not. And obviously it's a lot shorter and this is something that when it's hanging out the back of my backpack I don't feel like people are questioning what it is. Uh, the other one looks a little weird when you see it in the mesh. People wonder what are you going to do with that. Now if you do use this one, uh, the first thing you have to do is, is wet the gaskets a little bit. And when you wet the gaskets, it'll go right into the water bottle. The first time I tried to do it, I almost returned it to the company because without moistening those uh, rubber gaskets, it's really hard to push it into the top of your bottle. Now this squirt is going to be a little bit different. You can see that even without squirting, the water's coming out and it's one big stream. Alright, now let's go to how do you actually do it? The actual technique. The moment you've all been waiting for. All right, now what I've done is I put on some Gore-Tex pants. So this is kind of a simulated poop. You're not gonna actually get to see the real thing. And we'll see how this goes. I can tell you I'm probably not gonna be willing to, view, to record this more than once. So I hope this all gets into the camera. All right, let's see, let's turn the camera down a little bit. All right. How's that? All right. Now obviously, you find your hole and you do your business. Now what I do is, if you notice, I can't tell where it's hitting. If you hit right there on your butt, you'll notice that it's gonna come straight down the channel and it's going to clear out any of the stuff that you have there. So just simply rinsing like that will clear it out. Now the question that a lot of people have is what do they do with their other hand? How do you actually wipe? This might be a low point for this channel. I take mine from the front. Now I know I've seen other people where they go from the back. And so basically it's kind of like back, front, as you're squirting, you are wiping. And all of the water is dripping straight down. I notice, I know some people ask questions like, isn't it splashing back on your bottle? Isn't it splashing on your legs? It's not because, where is this again? Sorry, I can't actually feel it in my pants. So I gotta use my hand, this would not be normal. So it's going right at the top of your crack and then it's coming straight down. I don't know if you can kind of see that in the video. The right hand, now I'm right handed so it's a left hand squirt, right hand wipe. The right hand is just kind of flushing it away as it goes. 
Now one of the things that's going to kind of seem kind of gross is you think that you're getting poop all over your hands. You're not. Poop is very water soluble. So any amount of water brings it right off of your hands. Now I have a small farm. I have been in all sorts, you name the type of poop from chicken to pig to cow. I've had it on me. You stick your hand in a bucket of water, a little rinse, it comes right off. And it's the same idea with your butt. It's really the whole thought of when you're using toilet paper where you're kind of like wiping it and you're squishing it and you're spreading it. When you're using the bidet in your hand, it doesn't do that. It just, it comes right off. It's a really kind of weird sort of thing the first time you try it. And everything is clean when you're done. It's just a couple of squirts of water, everything is clean. Now when you're all done, again, one of the surprises is that there's, there's nothing on your hands. Like you'd think that your hand is full of poop, right? But there's, there's nothing on it. It's totally clean. Um, and when you're all finished and you're ready to walk away, you know, you can bring some antibacterial uh, sort of stuff and spread it on your hands and you know, it's going to kill anything that you're, you're worried about. Um, now I do have another video on the channel. I'll put it, a link to it below on just how much water it uses. Um, I know some people were concerned that, oh, you got to carry extra water uh, for your bidet. You don't have to carry any extra water. It uses so little. Uh, some people were concerned about bringing a different bottle. And I don't know if that showed up in the video, but you can clearly see that there is no splashback. Uh, you're not like sh shooting it with so much force off of your butt and bouncing it back. The other thing too is that where you aim it onto your upper butt, that's not where the poop is. It's like hitting your upper butt and then coming down through the crack and then washing everything away. I hope that video was helpful. Uh, the sun is setting right there, so I can't really see the viewfinder of the camera. So I'm hoping that even came out because, uh, well, I'm not coming back out to film it again. So I hope somebody found this helpful and uh, please leave a comment below on your adventures on using backpacking bidets. And if you, if you use one, if you can give a piece of advice to someone who is on the cusp of whether or not they're going to use one, you know, what's, what's, the, what's a piece of advice or a reason to use a backpacking uh, bidet that I did not include in this video. All right, here we go. Take that sideways to the camera. Now, what you're gonna do is you get down into your squat, and I obviously, I put on some Vortex pants, so when the stream of water hits me, I'm not gonna be able to feel exactly where it hits me, so if you're watching the video closely, I might not be targeting the exact correct spot, but you wanna go right above your crack, and what happens is, it kind of serves as a little canal, and it channels all the water down. The water doesn't loop back up to your front, it comes right down to your lowest point and drops. So if you're squatting with your poop coming pretty much straight out, straight down, that's what's gonna happen. It will channel through that canal, it'll come where your poop is coming out, and you wash it right down. Now I'm right-handed, the day goes in the left hand, the right hand is the scrubber. And so basically, I don't know if that's in the camera, basically you are aiming, let's see if I'm getting that right, you're aiming right above, so I don't know if you can see it, but the water's coming out, your right hand is just brushing it away. All right, it's really that simple. Now what I first thought was that my hand was gonna be all dirty and gross, it comes out looking just as clean. Poop is very water soluble. And so therefore it's not gonna be sticking to your hand. I think we have this impression from when we wipe our butts with toilet paper, it spreads and it smudges and it, it's whatever. But once you put the water on it, it just breaks it down, brings it right down to the ground. It's such a, a cleaner experience. So I hope that was uh, useful to somebody. Um, but again, it's not hard to aim. And one of the questions was, let's see if I can get my butt in the camera again. One of the questions was splashback on another video. And again, if your bottle is all the way Hard for me to see it in the viewfinder. If your bottle is all the way out there, you're not getting any splashback, especially because it's way up above where any of the contaminants would be. So, that was a weird video. 